Now, 1011 Sports with Eddie Messel. Conference tournament action is finally wrapping up. We're that much closer to state hoops here in the capital city. We start the night out at the ECNC. Freeman taking on Auburn, a rematch in the boys' championship from last year. We pick up in the fourth. Auburn trailing 25-24. Freeman trying to milk clock, but Skyler Roybal with other plans. A steal and finish at the other end puts Auburn on top 26-25. Falcons back with the ball and a chance to win it. Carter Ruse, the drive to the hole is no good, but he's fouled. A chance to win it at the line. He misses the first, but buries the second. We're headed to overtime, tied at 26. Under five seconds left, tied at 29 in OT. Ruse with another chance to win it, and this time he does. Ruse at the buzzer gives Freeman the ECNC title. The Falcons win it 32-29. to Carter, how you feeling? Yeah, I was just sick and tired. I know all of us were again silver medals and we set out to go get the gold and this isn't the end goal but it was damn sure one of them and I'm really proud of them. Great game there in the girls game just as crazy fourth quarter Auburn down to Olivia Swanson off the inbounds how about this from the parking lot she beats the buzzer are you kidding me what is in the water in weeping water Auburn takes the ECNC championship 33 32 over Elmwood Murdoch to the Lou Platt Championship, Central City looking to take down unbeaten Donovan Trumbull. Aiden Zim Zickmund, excuse me, check this out. He gets a little fancy in the paint, the spin move and finish through contact. The Bison though still down 14 and it's tough to stop the Cardinals when they're doing this. Parker Volk, look out below. The two-handed jam, Donovan holds on to the lead. The Cardinals are your Lou Platt champion, 69-55 to the final over Central City. It feels great. We knew it would be a good environment and they would have the advantage, but we came out on top and it gives us a lot of a lot of confidence. We wanted to stay undefeated and it shows like we can compete with anybody we play. A look at the other conference championships. Fillmore Central takes down, takes the SNC over David City in overtime. Johnson Brock wins the Nebraska Pioneer title and on the girls side, Milford takes down Superior in the SNC. Back in the capital city, Lincoln East hosting Omaha Northwest. The Lady Spartans just rolling in the second half. Some good ball movement here. Lily Shaw to Kaylee Denker. A little hot potato action puts East up 21. Fourth quarter, East looking to just put it away. And Reagan Barnard, she does just that. Barnard good from downtown as Lincoln East takes the W 67 to 39. Then after the girls game, it was time to honor some East legends. Hall of Fame induction for 10 Spartans. Among the inductees is Ed McFerrin, who coached 780 games from 1971 to 2013 as the boys head basketball coach. Also Jackie Doherty, the most recent graduate among the inductees from the class of 2011. She is the most decorated golfer in Lincoln East history. Lincoln East boys also get a win. Pius can't take down first ranked Bell West. Southeast falls to Creighton Prep and Northeast takes down Kearney. Lincoln High girls, they win huge on the road and Northeast falls in Kearney. A special night down at Lincoln Lutheran during the boys game. The state champs volleyball team honored with the raising of their state championship banner. And to the action, Logan DeBoer from straight away. He's good from three. The Warriors up 17-5 over St. Cecilia in just the first quarter. Johnny Pell's just adding to the big total. Taking it himself down low as Lincoln Lutheran takes it 59-47. to 